WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny and warm Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a sea of green out there. All the U.S. indices that we track are trading the upside. All the sectors, with the exception being the healthcare, down seven pennies. That's the XLB. Dow's up 53. S&P's up 31. NASDAQ 100, 165. Russell's up 17. Semi's up 92. Trendy's up 43. Gold's up about three bucks. Silver, 15 cents. We got lights recruit back 54 pennies, natural gas off seven cents. 30 Treasury basically flat print out at 116.23. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. So, what do we know about it? Well, yesterday price did close below the bottom of its daily profile, that number at the 5296 area. And it looks like it was a false breakdown move. Now, the day is still young. And if price closes below 52.96.25, then we've got a profile change in trend, and that suggests lower price. And that lower price could be at about 50.99. That's its daily TD9 count breakout level. If we take a look at the spot volatility, well, it's trading lower. It's still below its 50-day exponential moving average. And that says that that's a, that's a favorable condition for the S&P 500. The NQ is taking on the top of its profile. It's actually trading above it right now. The profile level is 18.851. We're at 18.870 or so. A close, and a close above that says we continue to move higher. Uh, the NQ does not have a topping pattern as we speak. Just a new profile that did form. And again, support 18.508, resistance 18.851. The U.S. dollar index, we can say that the rally thus far that it had was a counter trend move. Why? Because price found resistance at the center of that bullish structured profile that price has been trading below for more than two consecutive sessions out there. Um, so we should see a further move lower in the U.S. dollar courts. We'd want to take a look at the euro, the yen, and the pound. Goldilocks has uh, found support in its buy zone. The buy zone is between 23.17 and 23.43. The question is, can it close above 23.43 today? If it does, that would be a positive. If it doesn't, but I don't, that's kind of a neutral type signal, but you still have, it's still bullish with a consolidation with inside profile levels. The same thing can be said about silver. Its profiles, though, if it were to trade lower, would likely target the top of that profile. It's at 2909. If we take a look at light speed crude, still trading inside the cone of silence out there. That's between a rising and descending trend line, as well as its profiles. Support of 76.98, resistance 79.47. Natural gas has formed a new profile, so don't worry so much about the pullback out here. It's buy zone between 272 and 279. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z show, if you will, but if you have to start your Friday, have a fabulous Friday, a fabulous weekend, a marvelous uh, Memorial Day on Monday, and we'll be back with you on Tuesday. Stay tuned for the Trader Z show.